Let's go to Cynthia Loomis, the Republican senator from the beautiful state of Wyoming. Um, one thing I love about Senator Loomis, very, very consistent on debt and, and both parties adding to it and both parties uh, working hard now or says they should work hard to avoid compounding the problem. Uh, senator, very good to have you. First off, Senator, your reaction to Joe Manchin. Well, Neil, I, he put out a great statement yesterday, a principle uh, that now uh, doesn't look as uh, important because he does want to continue to spend. Now, think about this. This is, they've already spent $1.9 trillion in the spring, then $550 billion more on infrastructure than uh, we could document was necessary. All of the discussion, whether it's coming from Joe Manchin or the progressives, is about how much more we're going to spend. Not a single person is talking about how we can reform uh, things so we're not $28 trillion in debt. It's as if the debt has been forgotten about, as if we're just bidding with each other on how much money we can spend without any thought about how in debt we are, how it's hurting our economy, how it's going to contribute to difficult times in the future. This is stunningly irresponsible. You know, um, you've heard it from both sides, criticizing overspending on the part of Republicans and Democrats, and so it kind of puts you in a weird camp. No offense, Senator, um, but, but you have been calling out on this. I'm just curious now, um, is it your understanding, whatever your personal views, that Senator Manchin won't move from that figure. I mean, you're quite right to say it will add to the debt. Um, you're quite right to say that, as the, despite what the president said, there's no zero cost to this. There is a cost, and it adds to our red ink. But do you think that Joe Manchin can be moved from that number? Because I get a feeling, Senator, and you're closer to this than I am, that progressives aren't going to move in his direction, at least not that low. So what do you think? We've seen Joe Manchin stake out positions that were uh, to the right of his conference before, only to capitulate uh, to their uh, leadership later. I hope that doesn't happen this time. Uh, but his track record is to capitulate. Uh, it's going to be important for everyone who wants him to stay strong uh, to talk to him frequently, uh, reinforce his position, hope that Senator Sinema will reinforce his position. Uh, she's very strong. Uh, and so uh, the fact that they are speaking for people who don't want to speak up within the uh, Democrat Senate caucus is really, really helpful. You know, Senator, you're exactly right on Joe Manchin and how um, he ends up voting um, for, you know, the, the, the Democratic position. I think in, in the Obama administration, he was a 95 plus percent uh, voter in agreement with Obama uh, priorities. So his, his argument has been that he sets the stage for for voting on something that goes a little lower I mean, or, or doesn't spend as much. Nevertheless, he does go along with Democrats, and, and they're going to be really forcing him to change his mind. Do you think he will? Mm. Well, <laughs> he, he, fortunately this time, he, he's laid down a number, he's been specific, uh, and uh, now they can begin what I fear will be a negotiation. I'm worried the negotiation will be between 1.5 and 3.5. And as we know, the 3.5 number is illusory. Uh, if you look at what the Committee for a Responsible Federal Budget put out, which is more accurate, uh, the expenditure over 10 years is more like 5 trillion. And at the end of their planned expenditures, even the Democrats admit the national debt will be 45 trillion dollars. Now, every government that's gone over 100 percent of GDP has faced kind of a black swan moment, a crisis uh, that is precipitated uh, by being that deeply in debt. Um, I hope when Joe Manchin and his colleagues in the Democrat caucus get together to talk about these numbers, that they'll put that number 
on the table. That number being we're going to be over 100% of GDP in debt and we're getting into some dark water here. That's a, a very good way to characterize it. Uh, all right, Cynthia Lewis, thank you very much. Um, the thank Wyoming you, senator who has her doubts about the debt we're piling up. She is not alone. The Senate, meanwhile, is going to take up this short-term funding measure, sort of keep the government lights on, uh, to get it over to the House and then to get it over to the president to sign tonight um, so that at least they can get to these other matters. It's not a gimme. I'm going to get told you about any time she says it's a gimme, it never is. Uh, but, but one hurdle seems at least potentially clearable in the Senate for one measure, just keeping the government lights on and avoiding... Uh, anything more serious after midnight tonight.